He's headed to trial. A suspended Detroit police officer appears in court as the defenders uncover chilling new information in the domestic violence case against him. Right now, Officer Otis Funches is suspended without pay as his case moves through the court system. Funches faces a felony assault charge for the incident that happened at the victim's home in Taylor. Defender Sean Lay following today's hearing and joins us with new information in the case. Sean, what have you learned? The new information is coming right from a Taylor police report, an extensive Taylor police report. Also, the charges here in this case against Op, uh, Otis Funches are aggravated felonious assault and strong arm domestic assault. You'll find out why that charge is being pressed. The victim, she is also a Detroit police officer. What she told Taylor police happened a couple of weeks ago, nothing short of horrifying. We received information of some serious misconduct, some serious accusations. And uh, I immediately launched an investigation with Internal Affairs. Uh, I put in a, a recommendation to suspend uh, Officer Funches without pay. Detroit Police Chief James White is talking to the defenders about Officer Otis Funches, charged with felony assault. The alleged victim, also a Detroit police officer. The defenders obtaining this police report of the domestic violence incident and the female officer describing a terrifying attack that took place August 28th. The officer says she let Funches into her Taylor home, where she says Funches forced her into her child's bedroom. She told police that Funches grabbed her by the neck and tripped her to the ground, punching her in the face multiple times. She says he then put a loaded handgun on her nightstand, then grabbed her by the neck again, pushed her down on the bed as he allegedly strangled her. The victim says Funches placed his hand over her nose and mouth, strangling her until she lost consciousness. Prior to passing out, the victim says she desperately tried to call for help on her Apple Watch, but says the officer then took her phone, purse, and keys so she could not leave. She says she tried to alert others by pounding on a wall. That's when she alleges Officer Funches choked her until she was no longer conscious. It's not just the police report what she's telling officers. She was on the witness stand this morning testifying against another Detroit police officer, and the judge swiftly moved this case to trial. Also, police caught up with Funches the night in question here. His car broke down, so police were there to arrest him. They found a gun in his pocket. Apparently, a Detroit police-issued gun, but not Officer Funches. He told police it was his partner's gun, which raises more question about what he was doing with his partner's Detroit police gun. We're live tonight. Sean Light, Local 4, back to you. Yeah, it sure does. There are a lot of questions in this one. I've got to ask, Sean, how is the victim doing in this case? We are told uh, that she is okay. I mean, for as much as you could be, and it's such a horrifying situation, Detroit police say they are giving her all the backup, all the things that she may need at this really terrible time. All right, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sean.